hello everyone today we'll start with the new chapter that is the 8th chapter human health and diseases let us start uh, so today is the introduction class we'll going to discuss about the health and disease what is mean by health and what is disease the concept of health and disease so when we talk about health in the early days in the ancient period according to hippocrates and indian ayurveda health was nothing but a state of body and mind okay it is just the state of body and mind that too the health was decided by mainly four humors okay the according to hippocrates and the ancient ayurveda indian ayurveda the health is simply defined as a state of mind and body which is controlled by four humors humors means the fluid okay body fluid those bo four body fluids are blood the first one is blood so you know what is blood it is just a liquid connective tissue okay which is red in color and the se second was black bile black bile is nothing but the destructed rbc in the spleen okay it is similar to a clot that is black bile yellow bile is nothing but the yellow bile is a liquid i mean to say a fluid which is secreted by the liver and it is stored in the gall bladder and what is the importance of this yellow bile it is helpful in the digestion not directly but uh, it is very helpful in for the active participation or working of the enzymes so it is helpful in the digestion the fourth fluid is phlegm phlegm is secreted a fluid secreted by the lungs okay so these are the major four fluids of body according to these fluids the health was decided okay in the ancient period and there was a, good, a concept of good humor and bad humor uh, if a person is having more black bile he is he was getting fever so it was a concept of ancient period and this is about the definition of health according to hippocrates and indian ayurveda and these are the four humors okay on only on the basis of these for humors the health was decided in the previous year era so after that after a few years later william harvey discovered the circulate uh, circulation okay so the blood circulation after the many inventions and discoveries in the medical field then uh, recently according to the who who is world health organization so uh, it has given the definition a perfect definition of health that is the health means it is a state of physical uh, and that to complete a state of complete physical mental and social well being okay if a person looks uh, fit bo bodily fit then we are not supposed to say that he is healthy okay so to say any person is healthy we need to consider three criteria one is physical fitness mental well being and also social well being if these three criteria if these three parameters are fulfilled then we can say the person is healthy so this is according to the modern definition of health which is given by world health organization that is who health means a state of complete physical mental and social well being okay so physical well being means being fit with the no allergies no diseases and mental well being is mental fitness and social well being is uh, you know that man is a human is a social animal so need to interact with the people so this is all about physical mental and social well being but uh, when we consider the present day scenario mental well being is a uh, little rare because as a student you will be having the stress of scoring good marks examination and all so everyone is having a little stress in life but 
mental well being is uh, free from all uh, the major stress or anxiety problems and all so it is about the definition of health which is very important right so uh, to stay fit and healthy we need to be physical uh, focus on the physical fitness and good food good food i mean good food and health uh, sorry good food and water with no contamination not only food good water and pollution free air everything exercise and hygiene okay hygiene means both personal and community hygiene so you need to maintain the hygiene if we focus on these three uh, these four factors then you can be healthy now we'll talk about disease so we discussed about the concept of health according to the modern definition and we have also discussed the ancient definition of health so it is about health now we'll discuss about disease this is the word this itself says not very comfortable this is okay so uh, before we discuss the disease you need to be very thorough with the four terminologies okay one is pathogen pathogen is nothing but a causative agent okay causative agent means who is causing the disease okay the cause of the disease the causative agent is called as pathogen now the second terminology is prophylaxis prophylaxis means preventives uh, to stop the disease before uh, coming before it comes then it is called as prophylaxis means preventives uh, for example uh, it comes under immunization that is vaccination if you take the vaccine it is a preventive measure for the disease now the third one is symptom symptom is nothing but sign of disease if already you are infected with any causative agent any pathogen is uh, already has attacked then the symptoms are nothing but the sign of disease okay so the fever cold these uh, are the signs of disease those are called as symptoms once you get the symptoms then uh, you need to go to consult for the doctor i mean to say you need to go to the doctor for consultation and the fourth one is treatment okay once the symptoms are studied in detail and the causative agent is confirmed then we need to go for a treatment and there are two types of treatment one is symptom targeted and the another is uh, pathogen targeted for example if you consider uh, if you have malaria then symptom is high fever okay symptom targeted treatment is nothing but they give you antipyretic drugs that means which reduce the fever okay only we are reducing the symptom but we are not killing the pathogen we are not killing the causative agent but pathogen targeted treatment is we are directly killing the pathogen which is causing the disease so the treatment in the treatment there are two types one is pathogen targeted and another is symptom targeted so we'll study the different types of diseases okay so uh, we have classified the diseases under many headings simply to understand it perfectly so on the basis of duration okay on the basis of duration once the once you are attacked or infected with the disease how long it is going to last acute disease is a short duration disease but the in, but the intensity of the symptom is very high okay but within a short period of time you will get cured and the chronic disease is a long term duration the symptoms are very uh, they are in a low intensity but it is going to last for a long period of time or long period so this is about acute disease and chronic diseases and the second one is infectious disease and non infectious disease okay 
So infectious diseases which is uh, going to tran uh, transfer from one person to another person and non-infectious diseases it is not going to transfer from one person to another person. If Even if you interact with the infected person it is not going to transfer from that person to you. That is non-infectious and infectious is uh, which is going to transfer from one person, the infected person to another person. The third one is very important, congenital disease and acquired disease, okay. So, some diseases are congenital, that means by birth, which, which are genetic, okay, heredity, uh, through heredity, uh, the, some people will get some diseases which are congenital, okay. Uh, they cannot be transferred or uh, by touching them, they, they cannot be transferred. Do, those type of diseases are called as congenital diseases and acquired disease. Acquired diseases, it is, uh, it comes after birth, okay, uh, because of some infection, allergies or uh, by bacteria, virus, all these diseases comes under uh, acquired diseases and acquired diseases are also infectious and non-infectious. Uh, there are again two types. Uh, let us discuss in detail in the further uh, next classes. Now, what is mean by congenital and acquired disease? Congenital is by birth and acquired is uh, the disease which comes after the birth because of ex expo exposure to the causative agents or pathogens. And the fourth one is on the basis of causative agent. So, what is causative agent? That is a pathogen. Pathogen means causative agent. So, on the basis of causative agent, we can also study the uh, diseases like bacterial diseases. Bacterial disease means the diseases which are caused by the bacteria. So, in this bacterial diseases, which is the causative agent, that is bacteria. For example, TB and viral disease. Viral disease means the diseases which are caused by the virus. For example, AIDS. Protozoan diseases is nothing but the diseases which are caused by protozoa. For example, malaria. The fungal disease is nothing but a disease which is caused, which is the causative agent in case of fungal disease, obviously fungus. Disease caused by fungus is uh, fungal disease. And for example, Ringworm. Ringworm is a disease which is caused by the fungus and helminthal diseases that is caused by the helminth, helminths and the example is ascariasis. So, this is about the diseases which are caused by the uh, different causative agents. So, there are so many bases through which we have classified the diseases. So, uh, in the next class, we will discuss in detail about some of the diseases. So, uh, in, t in this chapter, we are going to study bacterial disease, viral disease, protozoan, fungal and all. So, let us discuss in the next class. Thank you.